God rest ye merry gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Hello and welcome to our second MPI Connect Comfort and Joy Christmas Carol Sing. My name is Faith Woods and at Mission Partners we want to bring rescue and hope and purpose to people in poverty, encouragement to people who are hurting, and messages of truth to people who are searching for answers. If you're enjoying your time here with us, just click the subscribe button below and then you can get more messages of encouragement from us. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day To save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy Oh, tidings of comfort and joy in fact, we have one more carol sing video that I will be posting next week. I will be reading the entire Christmas story and sharing my absolute favorite Christmas carol with you. Well, I don't know about you, but I love the Christmas season. I enjoy decorations, the family gatherings, and the food. But one of my favorite parts of Christmas is the lovely carols like this one. I love the beautiful melodies and the magnificent lyrics that trumpet the hope of a Savior born for us. Comfort and joy, just let those words sit in your heart for a moment. I know that many of you may be struggling with Christmas this year. Maybe you're thinking about how Christmas might look in a holiday season like no other. Maybe you won't be able to have your extended family there with you in person this year. Maybe you're even wondering what there is even to celebrate this year. I don't know what you're experiencing this Christmas, but I want to share the message that I feel deep in my soul when I hear the words of that beautiful song. They speak to a truth that I cling to when the world around me looks dark and scary. I cling to the knowledge that the truth in those songs aren't dependent on concerts or, or decorations or holiday meals. Christ was born into a culture with uncertainty and darkness, yet he said he was the light of the world. And you know what? He still is. Christ came to save us from Satan's power. That's a Christmas truth that nothing can ever strip away. Jesus is our true source of comfort and joy. And to the Lord sing praises, all you within this place. And with true love and brotherhood, each other now embrace. This holy tide of Christmas, all others doth deface. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. True love and brotherhood, we all look for that at Christmas, don't we? We want Christmas to be about love and about giving. People seem to intentionally steer their hearts at Christmas time to focus on sharing and giving and hoping, to celebrating the best parts of humanity. I'd like to read from Luke 2 verses 8 to 10. And in that same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. You know, the Christmas story tells us that we don't have to live in fear. The comfort and joy brought by the birth of Christ, it's just as relevant today as it was 2,000 years ago. Imagine the terror to see an entire choir of angels in the sky above your head on what would have otherwise been a normal average day at the office, or what amounts to that for a shepherd. But the angel said not to fear. Now, I know that saying fear not takes on pretty serious meaning this year, but I want to encourage you. Remember what we still have to celebrate. We still have love and hope and joy. These things can't be restricted. And this beautiful song reminds us that the true comfort and joy of Christmas is that Christ came to save us from Satan's power. So we don't have to live in fear because that truth, that will remain through anything the world can throw at us. Now I know that God has been really good to us this year with the love and support of our donors and by God's grace, of course. We've been able to help a lot of people in 2020. Now, in the midst of a Christmas season like no other, we remain resolute in our determination to share good tidings of great joy. We will tell lost and hurting people that Jesus was born to bring comfort and joy. This is our Christmas priority. As promised in the first video, I want to continue sharing the story of Renata. If you watched the first video, you'll remember that last December I was in the town of Krushinka, Ukraine. 
We had just arrived at the strangest home that I had ever seen before. It actually looked more like a rectangular botch box and it was kind of strangely covered in these long pieces of sheet metal. In fact, when we first started walking up to this makeshift home, I was sure it was some kind of storage container. But when we finally went inside and I met the home's occupants, I almost cried. This home was in fact one tiny little room big enough for a bed, a crib and a hot plate. There was no bathroom, there was no kitchen and no refrigerator. There was, however, a single mother with two six-month-old twin girls named Sabrina and Svetislava. Sweetest little girls. All Renata wanted. Two things, a job so she could care for her girls and a double stroller for the babies because they were both too big to fit in the single stroller that she had. She couldn't even leave her room because she had nothing to put the girls in. You see, Renata had lost her job at the boiler factory in town because of the babies. And unfortunately, there was no father in the picture. Now, I don't remember the last time that I felt so moved and so helpless. This young woman was living in what I probably would have called a shed. It wasn't fit to be called a home, but it was all she had. And for the honor of living there, she even had a landlord that was charging her rent. Now, Pastor Max, our host, and my coworker Andre and I, we prayed. We prayed that God would provide a job for her. We left her some food, of course, diapers for the girls, and I left enough money to purchase a double stroller so that Renata could get out of the house with her daughters. You see, these are the kinds of people that we want to bring comfort and joy to. People like Renata who have, they have nothing, and they so desperately need the words of hope that we can bring. So this is how I choose to focus on comfort and joy this Christmas. We want to share Jesus. I want to share Jesus. So maybe this is how we can reclaim Christmas this year from the pandemonium of 2020. We can share the good news that Jesus came to save us from Satan's power. You know, you can share this message too. Take a step out, do something nice for a neighbor. Be the bearer of comfort and joy to others this Christmas. So check us out next week when I'll be reading the entire Christmas story from the Bible and sharing with you my very favorite Christmas carol. If you click the subscribe button below, then you'll get notified when I post it. So if you want to learn more about Mission Partners, you can click the link at the top to visit our website at mpiconnect.org. And many thanks goes out to the staff at Royal View Church here in London, Ontario, both for accompanying me for the musical portion of this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.